I am Kathy Constantine. I am the Vice President of Sales for Brownwood Incorporated. This is my 25th year in July. We are a supplier of wood components uh, to the cabinet industry. So essentially what we do is we provide all of the products that take a box and make it look like a piece of furniture. So that would include things like island columns, uh, corbels, decorative trim, uh, onlays for hoods. All of our product is made in the United States. We use domestic hardwoods like hard maple, soft maple, cherry, walnut, red oak. Um, we supply most of the national cabinet manufacturers, but we also do single piece custom for the small custom woodworker. The one thing about our company is we have three divisions. We do a little bit of everything made out of wood. So we have been involved in um, the defense industry. We make saw handles, we make turkey calls, and about 1995-96 I developed a line of table legs for the store fixture industry. Um, three different height legs because everybody does a coffee table and an end table and a dining table and I had a fantastic idea. We were doing them custom. I'm going to make a catalog. Nobody bought them. I literally still have table legs sitting in our warehouse. But what happened was cabinet manufacturers called me and said, can you do that same leg taller and fatter? And that's literally how Designs of Distinction was started, was called small cabinet guys saying, can you make that English country leg four inches in diameter and 34 and a half inches tall? And I said, yes. And that's how we started the Designs of Distinction line. So pretty much every design that we have comes from our customers. We are releasing all sorts of new products. We have a beautiful line of custom-made knobs and handles designed by Keeler to match um, two of our most popular inserts. We do a line of crown molding and light rail molding that, uh, that uh, is in different types of design. So we did a Celtic and a Nouveau. And Keeler designed for us knobs and pulls that match, and they're absolutely gorgeous. In addition to that, we're doing um, inserts for our columns. What we found is that a lot of people are still looking to make their cabinets look like furniture, but they don't want as overpowering of an embellishment as they did in the past. So they're not necessarily doing a lot of grapes and acanthus or using uh, crown and columns and corbels and onlays. What they really are looking for is more highlight accent pieces. So we took uh, two of our most popular designs and we took the carving out. So they became blank canvases. And then we developed a very thin lasered board with Art Nouveau designs because the movement has gone from Victorian to kind of Art Deco, Art Nouveau, then to Shaker and maybe mid-century modern sort of style. So we like the Art Nouveau. And uh, what these are is they're very thin lasered boards that we finish in different three different metal finishes and they fit as inserts into these columns. So it's a great accent without being overpowering. Well, I think we do what a lot of other people do. You walk around, you go shopping, you look and see, you know, the, the furniture, and you, the, the color of appliances comes from the color of automobiles. They look and see what the next color is in the auto industry and that's how they determine what KitchenAid is going to do for their appliances. So we kind of do the same thing. I work with some great designers at the cabinet manufacturers who will call us and say, we really want an organic looking design um, that's maybe a leaf motif. And I have some very, very qualified hand carvers from the furniture industry and what they do is um, they will come up with three or four different designs for us and we all sit around and say I like that, I like that, I wish that leaf was bigger or the flower was more open um, and it's kind of a collaboration of multiple people but we look at what's happening in the furniture industry to see where they're going in, in terms of the new suites that they're doing for dining rooms and living rooms because the kitchen is an extension of the rest of the home. You want to make sure that the design trend that we're seeing is what's being reflected out there. So we're seeing a lot of, um, as I said, shaker, arts and crafts. Well, there isn't a lot of design element to that. It's very simple, clean lines. So we now have a series of straight columns, big block of wood. 
but it's not easy to sand a big block of wood so the finishing is consistent on all four sides. So we now have long two inch to six inch columns that are used in shaker kitchens and arts and crafts kitchens. Um, we look at the wood species that are coming out. Right now people are doing a lot of quarter sawn because they like the way, it's no longer a honey oak, they're taking a quarter sawn white or red oak and they're adding like a deeper walnut stain so you really pop the grain out. So we added components in the wood species that the cabinet manufacturers are starting to bring up. You know, it's embarrassing. I love white painted kitchens, <laughs> which I shouldn't as a wood person, but I do. Um, and I do, I really love quarter sawn white oak. I think it's gorgeous. It's got kind of a gray tinge to it. You could put a stain on it. The grain really pops. And I think it's a really elegant look. Over embellishing. I would say that's the most common mistake. Yeah. I, I love the design side of it. I love that every time I do a show, I get another idea from somebody because even our collaboration was literally because of a show. I walked by a booth, saw something you did and thought, I can make that out of wood. You saw something I did and said, we can make that out of metal. And to me, that's the best part. It's always changing and we're always finding somebody new to partner with. Um, and we can take something that nobody ever thought of as a wood component and all of a sudden bring it into this industry as a wood component. I think that's a lot of fun. How excited everybody is to be here. People have so much fun when they come here. So when you walk down the street, they're, even though their feet hurt because they've walked for 20 miles, there's still that excitement because they get to see the, the water at the Bellagio and they get to pretend that they're in Paris when they sit at Mon Ami Gavi. And, and they're spending way more money than they ever thought they would spend and they're probably eating food they shouldn't, but they're, they're from the moment they get up till the moment they get on the plane to go home, people get on that plane and they're wiped out because they've had such a good time. And I think it's just fun to people watch in Vegas and see people from all over the country with their little touristy outfits and they're just having a blast here. I was on the NKBA Advisory Council to the Kitchen and Bash Show. So what we were is the NKBA Advisory Council for KBIS. Um, Three-year term, I was the chairperson, but my term expired December of 2013, so it was my last year. But I'm still as involved as I can be. And I would encourage anybody to try and volunteer for the association because I really do believe that our committee was an integral part of making this particular combination of the Builder Show and the Kitchen and Bath Show happen. Um, I have to say I, I'm involved in a lot of associations and the NKBA is one that actually puts its money where its mouth is. If you volunteer and you feel strongly about something, they really listen to you. So their members don't just pay a fee. You can really become involved and you can really affect change in the association. And I believe this combination of builders and kitchen and bath is a result of the people that sat on these committees and really pushed them to make a change because this show would have been gone if they hadn't. So it was very good. No home is complete without warmth. I, th I believe that that's just, and I think you get that from the surroundings. The things you, you put in your home generate that warmth.